Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we are going to be starting the roses and hydrangeas from VIP Cross Stitch. This was in part one and we'll be starting right over in this so-called area. And I'm using 931. So how's everybody doing? Did y'all miss me yesterday? Yeah, I missed me yesterday. I was just so tired and so over it. I just lay down. I got up at like 4.30 in the morning, stayed up till um, oh, about 6.30 and went back to sleep for another couple hours and then got up and it was almost 10 times worse than if I hadn't slept at all oh yeah it was just great just stupendous so I just kind of sat there and stitched most of the day I made a batch of chili and got that all done yeah I just needed a break. But what can I say? So we're feeling much better today. I had to go to the bank today, and then I had to go pay the rent, and had to go to the grocery store, and had to go to the laundry. Oh yeah. So now we're we're sitting down, and yeah, and not doing hardly anything. We're just gonna stitch and not worry about the rest at all oh my goodness yeah I don't know what got into me I felt like I was getting sick you know what I mean where all I really wanted to do was sleep I don't know just been a tough week I guess whoops oh come here So I stitched a little bit on uh, scarlet ribbons until I couldn't see it anymore and I had to quit because I knew I'd screw it up. I'd already screwed up earlier in the day. I stitched a whole section and had to rip it out because I missed one whole row. Oh yeah, it was great. So I got that restitched and then at the point I quit I just couldn't see what I was doing so to speak I just got tired of looking at it so yeah so didn't accomplish a whole heck of a lot yesterday perhaps just getting something to eat and the wind blew all day long it was like in the 40s but yet the wind was blowing 20 miles an hour off and on all day long and guess what it's back for a round two today yeah but I just chose to ignore it and just go do the things I had to do and for some stupid ass reason the bank whoops I almost stitched the wrong thing the bank my bank this one bank is closed on Saturdays. I don't know how they get away with it, but okay. So that's why I had to go today so I could pull out the money for my rent and go pay it at another bank. Molly got to go. Yep, she wanted to go for a road cruise, so she got two dog biscuits. I know, it's exciting, is it not? Oh my gosh. Yeah, she was just thrilled sick. Not that she ate them all. No. That so was not happening with her hang on I'm trying to pull you a little bit closer to me so yeah we went to the grocery store and I just picked up dog food and some stuff that I needed and here we are I'm telling you life doesn't get any more exciting I just if it gets more exciting than this I, I just I don't know how I'm going to deal I really don't yeah, but I was thrilled sick not to have to be at work yesterday. So, 
and it was kind of nice just to stay at home and lounge around and not do a darn thing. No, this is kind of going down this line here. I, I wanted to stitch up there, but, you know, we'll work our way back up. I think I need a new light bulb in that light there for some reason. It just doesn't seem like it's... Okay, hang on. Oh my goodness. There we go. So, no more grand plans. My daughter has to go to a auction. I mean, she has to go put some stuff in an auction. And the kids are at Boys and Girls Club. They have that, um, this, this week, you know, while the kids are out of school. So, I guess they went there today while she's trying to organize this crap to go to auction. They, uh, know a, an auctioneer here in town. And every once in a while, my daughter will go and work for him, you know, like in the summer or in the fall, whenever he has his auctions. So, yeah. I'm sorry. We're going to get it yet. Let me see how close. Really? There we go. This is too close. So, yeah, no, no grand plans. We're waiting for spring to arrive, you know, but it's taken its sweet time. It may not get here until the end of April at the rate we're going. Didn't watch anything too terribly exciting on Netflix last night. Just the same old, same old. And that way I can concentrate on my stitching and there's still a little bit of something going on in the back ground but 95% of the time when I'm home the TV is not on I just don't find I need that noise I enjoy the peace and quiet or I'll put some music on and just go from there let's get rid of that thread it's getting to be kind of kind of short it's a really pretty uh I don't know, like a blue-black? I don't know how else to explain it. It's kind of a medium-dark. It's not too horribly dark-dark. And then I put this thing on here, and it's just gonna... I gotta use my, my handy-dandy pincushion today. I threaded all the needles, but... You know how that goes. Every once in a while, I'll... Pull it a little bit too hard and it'll come unthreaded. So I figured better to have it than not. <sighs> yeah, I was just cold enough yesterday to make red chili. So I didn't want to make green chili. I'm not quite out of green chili. I tried to do that in the fall. I mean, it's in my, uh, what do you call it? my crock pot so it really doesn't matter but in the summer and in the fall they have pork I don't know pork shoulders whatever it is on sale itch, itch, itch. dry skin um hang on they have the pork shoulders look uh, really cheap so I usually buy a couple of them and then cook up the pork and have pulled pork for once or twice. And then uh, I uh, use the rest of the pork for the green chili. But I try to get it all done in one fell swoop. So that's usually a summer to fall thing. And I make about 12 quarts of it. 
and put it in the freezer. And then we're good for all winter, see? And I don't have to do it again. But they do have that pork shoulder, whatever it is, on sale a lot, it seems like, during the summer, so. It's the best time to do it and get through it. And I don't like having, like, you know, like you'd have a, a pot roast, if you will, with uh, potatoes and carrots. I don't like pork roast like that at all. It's got to have some kind of barbecue sauce in it or make it into green chilies. So... Whoops, ouch. Shut the whole thing sideways. That was attractive. So hopefully things will get back on schedule here and get my four days off and then go to work on Monday. Just trying to figure out what that symbol was. But same old grind. And next week, or this coming week that we're having, or going to have next week, I got to call and see if they really need me for jury duty or not. So, fun times. Fun, fun times. So we'll see how well that goes. I don't think my daughter has anything planned for this weekend. It's just been a kind of a crappy couple days, so I don't know if it's going to get any better over the weekend. That wind can just go away. I'm tired of cold wind, but at least I picked chili to fix because I felt that cold wind, and I didn't care if it was going to be in the 40s or not. It just needed to have something warm to eat. Last weekend, I fixed um, French dips. We have real good deli beef. So I got some beef and I got oh, some kind of rolls. Like a, It was kind of like a Kaiser, but not shaped like that. I mean, if you'd put it in the oven, it would have crisped, crisped up. But, you know, I just heated it in the skillet and... Heated up the beef, and I had some au jus, and oh, it was really good. I wasn't real sure how that was all going to work out, but the beef was good, so worked out just great. I could do that again, but it was a little spendy, but that's okay. We don't do it that often, because I do like French dips when I go out. I always have. It's always been good. So, you know, exciting food extravaganza this weekend. Just plain old red chili. Sometimes you just need to do easy. And I don't want to cook up too much soup because I really don't have any room in the freezer for it. So I got to get rid of some more stuff. Two nights this week I had fish because I got it in one of those big bags you get from like Gordon's 
and you get the oh the full, we'll call them fillets or I don't know what they call them but they're not very big they weren't fish sticks or anything but uh, they do make good fish sticks but I had that twice just because all I have to do is throw it in the oven and getting home at 9.30 at night, I don't want to do anything that's too difficult. Oh, there goes the trash, guys. Yay, that's another thing, but I'm not going to fight the, the trash container and the wind at the same time. It just is not happening. Not happening today. So we'll wait for another better day. This is really, it's the damn needle. It drives me crazy. I'll just use another one here. I don't know, it just acts like it doesn't have a point on it or some stupid thing. I know they don't have too much of a point, but dang, could we get through the material. Sometimes I run into those kind of needles. I've had 10,000 run through here, I swear. Some are better than others. So, anybody else got any plans for this weekend? I hope your life is far more exciting than mine, what can I say? We've back up this area taken care of right in here. It's just checkerboarded. What the heck? Well, there goes the wind again. I thought that tree was going to fall down. Yesterday I got a big old, well I think it's an elm. I'm not real sure what it is. Actually. Might even be a locust tree. Uh, I'm not sure. So I may continue to work on this the rest of the day, and maybe not. I don't know. I did a thing, so it should be here. I don't know if it's going to be this weekend or next weekend. Oh, and you know that I was talking about that one. Oh, God, who did I say it was from? I thought it was uh, Jardin Bourbet. It's not. It's long dog. And it's called La Jordan something or other. And that's where I got the Jordan Purvey. Pessoir or something like that. Something to do with the garden. <coughs> yeah, I got it wrong. But I ordered it. From, uh, oh my goodness, guys. Trash can. I don't know if you can hear that. It's vibrating my whole house. Yeah, so I ordered it, and I ordered in it in different colors. Different colored threads than it called for. Because I really didn't care for it. It was some kind of... Oh, it was black. Black, gray, and that red that I told you about. So, it should be here. And the diamond painting that I ordered, gosh, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, maybe. Maybe? I, I've lost all track. Well, it should be here sometime. I think it's a little early for it, but it usually takes about two weeks to get here from China. I don't even remember who I ordered the darn thing from. 
I remember where I found it or why I ordered it. I ordered it the same time as my uh, granddaughter's birthday, like a week before that. So it's, it's been maybe two weeks now. So it may or may not show up tomorrow. Who knows? It didn't come today. Molly and I checked the mail because I was not about going out again at all. Nope, not happening. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. I think that is going to be about it. We did get, jeez, crazy needle. That whole little area, but see what I mean? It's all checkerboard. You can see the checkerboard thing. It was taking forever. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, do all the things. Have a good rest of your day and have a good weekend. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.